Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you default effects presets in Reaper. Now, the concept of default effects presets is what's going to happen when we first open up our plugins or effects. While Reaper or any other manufacturer tries to create a default preset for everyone, it's not always perfect for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change it in Reaper. So to add effects to a track, we go to the effects button right here and click it. And that opens up the effects browser. Let's choose a Reaper effects called re-EQ. And when it opens up, it looks like this. With four bands, with the lowest band being a low shelf, then two band filters or parametric EQs and a high shelf. Now, personally, I like to set it up a bit differently. So what we'll do is remove all these bands, except for one, and we'll change it to a high pass filter. Bring it down to about here. Let's readjust the bandwidth to be about 1.75. And this is gonna filter out the low end of our track like this. I like to start it off pretty low, about 60, and turn it off. Double click it so it starts bypassed. Now let's add some other bands. The next one, I'm going to change to a low shelf, which is very useful for boosting the low end from that frequency on down. So it creates a very wide and noticeable effect. Let's change the bandwidth to about 0.75, which tends to work for boosting the low end or cutting it. Let's set this to about 150 and the gain to zero. This way it's not boosting or cutting when we first open it up. Then let's add a band filter or a parametric EQ for the lower mid-range, which we could use for cutting mud or boosting in that lower mid area. Let's set it to about 350 with zero gain and the bandwidth about 0.75, which is going to look like this. A little more peaky than the default. Let's add another one for the upper mids. Let's set it to about 2.5 or 2500, also at zero, and also at 0.75. And then finally, let's add another band and set it to be a high shelf EQ, which is useful for boosting the top end. Again, we'll set the bandwidth to about 0.75 for boosting or cutting the top end. And let's set it to about 5 kilohertz or 5,000 and set the gain to zero. So this EQ is set up how I prefer to start. So I want this plugin or effect to open like this. And we could do that by going right here to the plus button. And instead of saving the preset over here, we could save it right here. Save preset as default. We'll give it a name and then save it. And then now let's delete this plugin. And if we add it on our tracks, it's going to start off with that default preset we set up. We could turn on the high pass filter, boost the low end or cut it, cut out some mud or boost it, boost the upper mid range or cut it, or boost the top end with the high shelf EQ. That's a huge time saver as it's going to start out with this preset each time. Let's set up a few more. This time we'll choose the Rea Comp compressor. And I like to start off with this plugin with the threshold a bit lower, the release a bit quicker with a classic attack, turn on auto makeup gain and bring down the wet or the output just a bit. And also change the ratio from one to one, which is no compression to four to one. It's a good starting point for our typical compression. So let's save this the same way. Go up here to the plus button, 
save preset as default, and we'll save it as start. Although you can name it whatever you want. And now, if we add that compressor to our track, it starts out exactly as we saved it, saving us some time of having to change it to our personal preference. But let's set up one more. This time we'll choose a reverb. Right over here, reverberate. Now for this plugin, I tend to use it two different ways. Either I pull down the dry sound completely and bring up the wet, or sometimes I leave the dry sound fully up, but bring down the wet, somewhere around here. Then I bring up the room size about here to make a nice big room and bring down the dampening, which will make it a bit brighter. So again, this is how I prefer to start with this plugin. So we can save it as a default preset. And now if we open up that reverb, it starts off exactly as we saved it. And this is gonna work with any plugin we use, not just the Reaper ones. If you wanna delete or change the preset, the easiest way to do that is to open it up in the effects browser. And we can see over here, there's another column, the default preset column, where we can see we comp is set to start, just double click it, and we can change the preset right here. Maybe put it back to the factory default or change it to any preset you save. We'll put it back to the start preset we created. And we could do that with any plugin in Reaper, as you can see right here. And I should also mention a very quick way of adding plugins to our tracks is adding a keyboard shortcut in this window. So for re EQ, we can just right click it, go down here and create shortcut, and just add a keyboard shortcut. And now we can just select a track. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and it opens up that plugin with the default effects preset we set up. And we can add a keyboard shortcut to any effects or plugin in Reaper, not just the Reaper ones. So that's pretty much it. That's how to set up default effects presets in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!